Hi, I am Remy from Talend, and in this movie, I'm going to show you how to connect to the Orton Work Sandbox 2.0 from Talend Open Studio for Big Data 541. I have decided to make this demonstration because I have received a lot of feedback from people who were not able to connect to the Sandbox from Talend. So first, when you connect to the Sandbox, you can you can read that you can initiate your session browsing this URL. So of course, in your Windows machine, when you try to browse this URL, it doesn't work because this IP is an internal IP of the Hortonworks Sandbox. So coming back to the Sandbox, you can connect to it and log in. Root and Hadoop. And the only thing you have to do is to get your public IP address. In our case, this is this IP. You can also notice that your host name is Sandbox. On your Windows machine, now you have to open the file host, which is located in the folder C Windows System 32 Drivers ETC. And you have to type the IP address of your Sandbox with a space and the host name. Now, if you replace the IP address by the sandbox host name, you can see that you can browse the, the web page. Also, you can browse your name node, you can browse oh, the job tracker doesn't exist on Hadoop 2. You can browse your resource manager, right? So, if you can browse everything from Windows, that means Talon is going to be able to connect to this Hortonworks machine with the port 8020. So I'm going to browse the file system in order to see where I'm going to be able to write data. So I'm going to, to write everything on slash user slash Airdubois. So within Talon, I'm creating a job, my job, with two components only in order to be very clear. So only one column with, for example, a list of uh, first name. I'm going to write data within the GHGFS output component. And in this component, I just have to select the correct distribution, Hortonworks Data Platform V2. I have to define the name node URI, which is um, sandbox on the port 8020. I have to define a username. I am Air Dubois. And I have to browse my file system in order to define where I want to read. So I'm going to write where I want to write. So I'm going to write in out2.csv in a text file. And I'm going to override if the file already exists. I execute the job. So we can see an exception there. But this exception. Uh, is known by the Hadoop community and is going to be fixed uh, in the near future, right? Now you can see that the job has finished and we have written 1000 records within HTFS. Coming back on HTFS, I refresh and the out2.csv file has been created with the content I expected at the beginning. All right, I'm done. Thank you for your attention.